In my clinical practice, it was always the case that when I was dealing with the most fundamental catastrophes of people's lives, or the most profound experiences of their lives, that the language would automatically become religious. Yes. And that was the case even if the people that I were, was talking to were explicitly a religious or secularist. And the reason for that is that we actually have a domain of deep language. And when we fall into the domain of deep language, we're in the domain of the sacred. And I've been trying to think about that technically. So imagine this, you know, we have this notion of literary depth, right? Some stories are shallow, some stories are deep. Okay, and everyone feels that and everyone pretty much accepts the fact that same with music, the same with beauty, any art form, there's shallow aspects and there are deep aspects. And deep aspects move you yes. and they move you deeply. So they have emotional resonance and they call to you as well, right? They call you to a better version of yourself.